All right, y'all. So I just want to talk about temptation. Uh, you know, how many of us are, uh, I, I should say, we all deal with temptation. You know, how many of us struggle with the temptation of sin? You know, I know for me personally, uh, a temptation that I struggled with when it came to sin was definitely uh, pornography and alcohol. Man, you know, I struggled with that for years and years, man. And it took me so long to be able to break that that chain, you know, to break that that cycle of wanting to uh, wanting to drink, you know, wanting to uh, wanting to watch pornography. But I want you all to just see in Matthew four how Jesus handles temptation and how we could, you know, just model after his uh, footsteps, you know, how we can just walk in his path on how to handle temptation. Because Matthew is all about, you know, just showing us how 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 we live in Christ and, you know, just how we're supposed to pray, you know, how we act, such and not, you know, how we give, you know, it just tells us everything about what Jesus Christ stands for. He gives us a perfect example on how we do those things. But a temptation, look how Jesus deals with temptation. It says, then Jesus was led up by the spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. So who tempted him? The devil tempted him like he tempts us. It says, after he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, he was hungry. So one thing Jesus did was what he fasted. And fasting is a great way for us to, to break, out, break out of the chains of temptation. You know, fasting from things can help us, uh, you know, engage and, and get into a deeper, uh, you know, connection just with God and Jesus, you know, just help us spiritually. But it says, then the tempter, who is, who is the devil, approached to him and said, if you are the son of God, tell these stones to become bread. Now look how Jesus responds, y'all. He says, he answered, it is written. So the first thing Jesus did was that he said, it is written. He went to the word. He went to the word. And that is our weapon, y'all. The weapon, the, our weapon is the word. Our weapon against the enemy is the word. It says, man must not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. So when you are in moments of temptation, you know, when you are feeling tempted to do something, get into your word. Remember the words of God. You know, write it down somewhere. Have notes. Uh, put it as your screen say, do, do whatever you need to do to be reminded of, of the word of God when you are tempted. Then it says, the, then the devil took him to the holy city, had him stand on the pinnacle of the temple and said to him, if you are the son of God, throw yourself down for it is, throw yourself down. Now, look, just like the devil does us, he's doing to Jesus. You know, the, the devil just doesn't, you know, tempt you one time. or He doesn't try to attack you just one time. You know, he's going to constantly try to try to test you and get you to break, and, you know, and get you to fold so that you can, you know, sin and, and, and get get inside your head. You know, when, when we sin and when we do things, that's what, you know, open, opens up the gate for the devil to get inside our head. But just look how Jesus responds. He goes back to the word. He says, for it is written, he will give his angels orders concerning you. And they will support you with their hands so that you will not strike your foot against the stone. It says, Jesus told him, it is also written, do not test the Lord your God. So it says again, the devil took him to a very high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their splendor. And he said to him, I will give you all these things if, if you will fall down and worship me. So the devil don't stop, y'all. He ain't stopping. Now he's saying, okay, you know what? I'm going to test you like this. I will give you the world. I will give you everything you want in life. All the money, all the fame. You know, you, you can be ruler of so many nations and kingdoms. I mean, you're going to be at the highest pedestal of life. But look at what Jesus does. Look at how he responds. Let Jesus be our mother, y'all. Because it says, then Jesus told him, go away, Satan, for it is written. Worship the Lord your God and serve only him. Then the devil left him and angels came and began to serve him. So that was just a quick lesson about when when you become tempted, y'all. Because the devil is going to tempt you. The devil is going to try you. He's going to try to attack you each and every day. He, he's a, he's a nonstop worker. And just and he, he loves it just when you begin to relax and think everything is okay. He likes to swoop on back in there and try to get in your mind and try to get you to break so that you can fall off again. But remember, y'all, Matthew 4, Jesus is our model. 
He shows us how we deal with temptation. And you lean on the word of God. Every time the devil strikes, hit him with the word of God. Remind the devil it's already written. Well, this is what God says. This is what the Bible says. So that's just that's just the lesson for the day, y'all, about temptation. I just wanted to share that real quick, man. Um, I'm going to finish Psalms today. I'm going to dive back into Genesis, man. I, I just love doing this. It's just what I love doing. Sharing the word and helping y'all, man. But like I say, man, if you are dealing with temptation, stay strong, man, and just remember the word of God and know that you're not alone. Because I've been there too. We all deal with temptation. And we all have had moments where we we've uh, came up short, man. But God forgives and, and just know it's going to get better. But I love y'all. See y'all next time.